painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. I'm so glad you joined me here. We're going to do a quick little ditty. My base coat is a mix of, uh, excuse me, a mix of the Rust-Oleum Champagne and the Rust-Oleum Soft Gold. I mixed about 50-50 of those two colors together and then added my pouring medium. Our colors today are Chroma Molten Metals, and that is the Dorado Gold. That's a really soft gold. Those Chroma paints are really nice, guys. I love them. We've got DecoArt Metallics. That is such a pretty copper color. I love these DecoArt Metallics. I'm a metallic girl. I just love the sheen and the shimmer that they add to our paintings. This is everybody's favorite Deco Art Metallics 24 karat gold. Oops, sorry about that noise, guys. The UPS truck just pulled up. Here we have Deco Art Extreme Sheen Peridot. That is a nice shade of green, and I don't use a lot of green in my paintings, but I figured it would be a really nice accent color with these other paints. That's a combination of golden iridescent bronze and deco art champagne gold. It's about an ounce of the champagne gold and a few drops of the deco, uh, excuse me, of the golden. This is Treasure Gold by Folk Art. This is their copper color. Now it's a little bit of a different hue from the Deco Art copper. This is Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art, and that's the Rich Espresso. So we're staying with our kind of neutral tones today because that's my jam. I've already prepared my cups and I did three layers of each of the colors in the order that I introduced them to you just now. So here we go with our first cup. These colors play really, really nice together, guys. Sorry about the reflection of my camera. I, I need somebody to teach me how the heck to set up my lights. <laughs> I move them left and right and back and forward. Now I've gone ahead and added, added a little bit more of the Deco Art Copper around there because I wanted, uh, when I pour my second cup, I wanted some definition between the two cups, which you'll see coming up here. But look at that green. That just played so well with these colors. Now we get some really nice movement in this painting, which is the thing I love the best about it. Now I pour one cup at a time and I tilt that first cup until the majority of the paint has run off because when we pour our second cup we don't want that first cup to move around too much. You'll get a little bit of movement but not much. And here comes our second cup. Same colors laid out in the same order with the same amount of paint. Now we're going to start tilting this guy. Now I stretch to the bottom, then I stretch to the top, and then I start to let my paints run off. I don't want to lose too much of that paint in the beginning until I get that second cup kind of lined up where I want it to be, which you see right there. Here comes a little bit more of that copper. And here is our third cup. Now, when you get to your third cup and you start tilting, it gets a little tricky if you see some movement going on in the upper two original pores. But if you take your time with this and you maneuver that canvas, 
just right, <laughs> you'll get things exactly where you want them. Like I'm trying to take away that little bit down there in the corner and I'm a little discombobulated with my lines, but you see that I get them straightened up again. You just really got to take your time with your tilting, guys. This video is sped up about four times. This painting took me probably about an hour and 20 minutes until I was happy with it. Now, I got a little bit of a dip de do down there in that bottom ring, but um, I liked it, <laughs> so I left it. But if you take your time, you can straighten that line back up again. I liked it because it just went with the movement in the rest of the composition of this painting. There you go. Easy breezy, guys. I promise you, you practice, you stay at it, and eventually the stars will all be aligned. But those colors played really well together, and they darkened up a little bit as they dried, and I was happy with that. Happy hands dance. Yay! What a good feeling when it turns out the way you like. Right, guys? Now this is not 100% dry yet, that is dry, and then I did a little app at the end where it shows the painting in a room. No, that is not my room, that's some stranger's room, <laughs> but there you go. Guys, thanks for joining me here in my happy place, the No Bra Zone. I'm grateful when you guys do. Have a wonderful day, be safe, be well. Bye guys.